I think the light is a little dark in here. I hope it won't be too bothersome for the video. Um, hi, everybody. So the last time that I was here talking to you, I was telling you about the months that I had had and the breakdown that I was going through and most of all what I was learning from it. As I was saying in that video, things have been getting better and better to the point where now I feel like I'm almost completely recovered, which makes me so, so, so happy. Most of all, I think what makes me the happiest is knowing that I'm able to focus again and that I'm able to concentrate on what I'm doing and able to basically function, which is crazy awesome when you've had periods where you haven't been. And it's really hard for a lot of people to understand what that's like if you haven't gone through something like that. But just regaining a sense of normalcy is really, really wonderful. So first of all, I wanna thank you all for your messages of support and love and your understanding with everything. And I also wanted to just, uh, I guess, re-emphasize the fact that the power of rest is not to be underestimated. And I think that that was really, really helpful for me was to take that vacation this summer, uh, right after the vlog that I sent you. If you don't have the luxury of going on vacation, all I can say is please try to increase rest and self-care, build it in your routine. And that's actually something that I'm trying to maintain because so now that I like feel like I'm back to my normal self again, I'm like, oh my God, I can do things. And so I'm getting a little overexcited and trying to do a kajillion things. Maybe partially because I'm afraid of the next time that my brain's gonna decide screw you. Um, though I don't think that that's an actual valid fear because I think I'm, I've really, my subconscious has taught me the things that I needed to hear and, well, never say never, but I guess what I'm saying is that I'm hopeful and despite the fact that I'm back to normal, I still need to maintain a routine of self-care. So I'm really trying to integrate that on a day-to-day -day basis. So. I hope that you are also doing that for yourself because I think we, you know, probably, you know, self-care, community care, all these things are things that we talk about in theory, but in practice, they really make a difference and it bears repeating over and over and over. And maybe I'm saying this as a reminder to you, but most of all, as a reminder to myself to not forget that that's a really essential component of being the best version of yourself or being at least the most functional <laughs> version of yourself. And not that, you know, function and value are linked. I don't think that's the case. I think even if you're non-functional, you do have value. But anyway, that, I'm kind of veering off topic, but just wanted to mention that. Anyway, uh, so here is the news for the upcoming, here's some news. So for the upcoming, I guess, weeks or month, October is showing up next week. Inktober is showing up next week. I'm beyond excited to get that started, especially because I'm teaming up with a few teachers, top teachers on Skillshare to prepare a sort of Inktober challenge. Um, and I'm really excited about that. It's also like crazy how fast time flies. Thank you for the ones who helped me choose the exclusive prints for Patreon. I'm really excited about that. So I ordered those today. What else? Oh yeah, so I had mentioned some, I had mentioned two things. Harvest Tales, which was a challenge in September that I was planning on doing. And of course, my sense of time is really poop. So I didn't manage to do them all. I'm almost finished with one of the drawings. Um, there's something I, I really like about it and there's something that I'm like, mm, still trying to figure out, but I'll share that with you as I move forward through it. Hey everyone, so here I am in San Francisco and it's 28th of August, so it's coming to the end of my holidays and I'm going to be participating in a thing called Harvest Tales that I saw on Instagram, organized by Nadia Rauza. Um, and a few other illustrators and it just sounds really fun so 
I was thinking of participating in that and I'm going to try to get a little bit of a head start because I'm actually leaving on the 6th back to Europe so I want to be sure that I get the first prompt done in time. Second thing was a mini Skillshare class that I was talking about and actually I was rethinking about that yesterday and realized I'm actually going to try to maybe make a mini Inktober class for October. And then the class that I had started filming before I left, I'm going to continue and finish that in November. That's kind of what I'm playing around with because it bothered me that I wanted to publish this new class during Inktober, but it has nothing to do with Inktober and it just didn't really make sense. So I don't know, I don't want to get ahead of myself in case I don't manage to do it, but that's my plan. I'm still brainstorming it, cooking it up. Um, it'll, it won't be for beginners in the sense that we won't be talking about mark makings or how to ink, um, but I'm thinking it might have something to do more with the process of coming up with ideas. So I don't know, that's, that's the next plan. That's the thing that's cooking in the background and I'll let you know as soon as it fleshes itself out a little bit more. Other than that, I also have two beautiful new sketchbooks that I can't wait to show you by Art Chu on Instagram. And I have three mini sketchbooks that I can't wait to show you either that are from Anna Jane Searle on Instagram and I just I couldn't be more excited to use these sketchbooks that are created by small women-owned businesses who inspire others with the work that they do and create such awesome products too like so that really gets me excited and I'm looking forward to sharing those with you soon. I also treated myself to a tiny new Stoneworks Mill palette because Stoneworks Mill, I love them. I love them so much. Like the paints are amazing. The colors are amazing. And they're also a very small family owned business. And the quality of what they do is amazing. I know they're going through a really rough patch at the moment. And it really makes me happy to be able to support them and their family in this small way.
So, more paintings, more ink paintings, a little bit of a mini Skillshare class, and that's it. That's the news. I'm really looking forward to our live drawing session, which is going to be on Monday. And I look forward also to hearing about you. Do you have any projects? Are you going to be doing Inktober this year? I hope you will if you're feeling motivated. And most of all, I guess, I hope you'll join in on the challenge that I'm creating with a few other of the top teachers on Skillshare. Um, if not, you know, no worries, but it would be great to have you there. What else? Yeah, I love the fall. I love the fall. I'm so excited about like fall hikes and the colors. I love the colors and the air. I don't know, there's a lot of things I love about fall and I hope that you're getting nice autumn-y feel. It's almost time to launch that virtual fire when you're somebody like me who lives in an apartment and doesn't have a fireplace at home. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I do. No regrets. All right, I'll see you soon and much love and creativity to you.